what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Help Blaze, at thehelpblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, we back. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Let's get into some boxing. Triple G has a new date. But first, I got the lowdown of 411 on what's going on with Canelo Alvarez. Let's talk about his contract with PBC in his next fight. Uh, share the video. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. And apparently, Canelo will be on a fight-by-fight -fight basis with Premier Boxing Champions in Showtime. It's Showtime! In my Swiss Beast voice. And, um, yep, he'll be on a fight-by-fight -fight basis with them, um, giving him flexibility. He's probably basically going to be on the deal that Floyd was with Golden Boy. It was no long-term partnership. It was just on the humbug. We working together from fight to fight. Until something changed, which eventually it did change. He did Mayweather promotions. Um, so that's just what the deal is right now. Um, you know, they're on a the fight by fight deal. And, you know, he's going to be fighting on Showtime pay per view. Also, going to talk about Oscar here as well, too. Um, so he's going to be fighting on Showtime pay per view and um, versus December 19th. Uh, and the rumors plant Eubanks or Uterman. Uh, I think Uterman did Eubanks. The plan is. Is a front runner right now. Um, they're probably gonna be fighting the Alamo Dome or in Arlington, Texas, at the um, Cowboy Stadium. I uh, forget what they call it, AT&T Stadium, AKJ World. And um, yeah, so that's what he want to do. If Plan don't take the fight, then it's Uterman. It's gonna be on a uh, pay per view. Uh, look here, I wouldn't have been mad if this dude sat there and took a tune up versus Uterman on regular Showtime, and then went into a Caleb Plant fight. But that's just the situation. You're going right into a pay per view. Um, you know, and then also with him, you know, rumor is he fighting Jamal Charlo in 2021. So maybe that's why Jamal Charlo turned down that fight with him. And, you know, that's just kind of what the situation is right there with, um, with PBC and Showtime. So, you know, remember Oscar De La Hoya snatched him off of Showtime and said that the numbers was hurting Canelo. He went to H back to HBO and there's been rumors about him and Al connecting like sideburns like a while. Uh, I can go back, like I said on the live, I can go back all the way around the time that Tyson Fury fought, I think it was Otto Wileen, right around that time that there was talk that he may leave Golden Boy and go and stay on the zone with Matchroom, or he was considering uh, working with Al Heyman, and basically, now Al Heyman is basically running the world now to keep Canelo Alvarez happy, you know, he got to keep getting that money, he got to keep giving him the fights that he wanted, basically, Canelo going to be able to dictate what he want to dictate on PBC, and it's just up to Caleb Plant or Jamal Charlo to handle their business and beat them. And the question that a lot of people want to know is, can they get a fair decision versus Canelo Alvarez? Will Canelo be on a fight-by-fight -fight deal? I think they could. Caleb Plant probably got a management deal with Premier Boxing Champions, and so does Jamal Charlo. So it's going to be interesting because if you can get past those two guys, there may be a scenario where him and David Benavidez can do a big Cinco de Mayo and Mexican Independence Day fight shit, probably even next year. So you probably see Jamal Charlo Canelo in May, and then maybe if Benavidez get the WBC title, maybe from Uterman, if Canelo don't fight, I don't see them fight Independence that were 2022 single to Mayo. So, you know, if Canelo go out here and he clean up the PBC roster, I don't think it's too much more to be said about him, um, especially if he's able to do it as clean. And guess what? You know, you don't hear nothing about PBC and they fighters entering the Nevada drug testing program. And if they are entering the Nevada drug testing program, they're not making it public if somebody failed a drug test. It's being only reported to the fighters or reported to Al Heyman. For as much slack as we give Eddie Hearn for not reporting that drug test that Dillian White failed with Oscar Rivas, well, you know, I just seen that Kell Brook and Crawford, they entered the Vada drug, drug testing program um, the, I seen it the other day. So you don't see no PBC fighters, you know, uh, filing for Vada. So that just make you think, you know, of something sketchy going on. So, Canelo ain't got to file, got to fight, got to do a lot of testing. If he get popped, if they do do testing, he ain't got to worry about it being public. It seems that it's being confidential without Heyman, if that is the case. So it's just a win-win. He not locked into a deal. He can make as much money as he want to. He'll be on an accessible network. You know, would I like to see him fight on CBS for free versus Uterman? They should have made that jump. That probably would have broke TV records. But right now, Caleb Plant is the leading getter. Um, he dug Canelo earlier this year, even though that fight would have never materialized because of Corona. They want to do it. 
Cinco de Mayo. Remember after he fought old boy, he said that um, it wasn't enough time for him to recover and then fight. So now he's able to get Canelo. Can he beat him? Absolutely, especially if it's a flair playing field. Um, should be an interesting fight. Caleb Plant going like to make a lot of money. He got a bad style for Canelo as well, too. But he got to find some aggressiveness, some front foot fighting. If he can find the ability to fight on the front foot, then he could do better than Laura did. You know, he can make some junk junk. But he already also see what Golovkin did moving forward and scoring and still not getting the credit that he deserved. But um, should be interesting. But, you know, that's what the situation is with Canelo right now. He got a fight-by-fight -fight deal with PBC and Showtime. Uh, he will be fighting on Showtime pay-per-view December 19th, San Antonio Alamo Dome or AT&T Stadium. Uh, right now, Caleb Plant is 90% the uh, front runner. Uterman and Eubanks Jr. is also guys that could fight him. And then you're looking at um, January, I mean, excuse me, you look looking at 2021, he could be fighting Jamal Charlo. And it's just pure speculation. Then he could fight David Benavidez the same year as well, too. That's speculation. But um, Charlo won't get his shot. Should be a good fight. I know Eddie Renoso said that he wanted to fight. Um, he wanted to fight with Jamal Charlo. So you never know. Earl Spence could be in this future. And a lot of guys can be in this future. But that's just the situation with Canelo. You heard it here first. And then you got a situation where Gennady Golovkin no longer fighting in November. Remember, he moved off of November Friday, uh, November Saturday day because Danny Garcia and Earl Spence was supposed to be fighting. He moved to a Friday. Uh, now he ain't fighting in. He fighting. They pushed the Camille Zamata fight back once again. He's now going to be fighting December 18th or December 19th. Um, 18th or 19th because they don't want to see him going up against Canelo. So if they don't want him to go against Canelo, he'd be fighting the 18th versus Camille Zermatta. Now, if you didn't know, Gennady Golovkin got kicked out of snack. For whatever reason, Victor Conti kicked him out. He left with a calf strain. And I heard Jonathan Banks kind of pushed him to go to snack and get some better conditioning. He's 38 years old, be 40 in April. Um, so right now, he fight Camille Zermatta December 18th, December 19th. That fight getting pushed back, I don't know, because of injury, like a venue, or they want to fight with fans. Don't be surprised that fight don't, don't end up in Hollywood, Florida. It's exactly where Gamboa and uh, Devin Haney fighting. And I believe Danny Jacobs and Gabriel Rosado, and I think Demetrius Ballard and Demetrius Andre will be on that undercard as well. Just a rumor I heard. So um, they probably wanted to work with could fight with fans, and he probably going to be fighting at the Hard Rock in Hollywood, California. I don't know nothing special. That's just pure speculation. So, I mean... At this point, Golovkin should just retire. You know, he can fight Canelo again. You know, he can go over to PBC and fight Canelo. But why, you know, leave a gravy situation with the zone where you're getting $14 million and you're getting equity in the company. So I don't see why he would leave that situation. So really, you know, they're probably going to try to force him to fight a Danny Jacobs rematch. You're hearing that Golden Boy may go forward with a John Ryder, David Lemieux um, card uh, sometime in December. Um, so really, it's a situation where situation where Canelo merely messed it up. So now they're talking about doing the uh John Ryder, Demetrius on I mean John Ryder, um David uh David Lemieux. So pretty much man, Golovkin, I mean his options there to really boil down to Demetrius Andrade, Danny Jacobs at sixty eight. It really ain't nothing else for him to do, you know? Unless they really they willing to make the Jamal Charlo fight. And at this point why would Jamal take a risk versus Golovkin, you know, fight Canelo, especially on his own. So in the situation, the only fight that, can, that Golovkin got now was just Demetrius Andrade and Bum Basher. So uh, maybe Billy Joe Saunders and, and Golovkin can pop off. Callum Smith and Golovkin, Callum Smith and Demetrius Andrade. But the zone probably on their on they knuckles and they probably on their way out. I mean, I uh, heard Ryan Garcia leaving. I did the video on that yesterday. So you can expect to hear about Ryan Garcia leaving there as well, too. So in a couple fights or one or two fights, and maybe he go over there and make a fight with Tank. I heard that he going to Canelo Alvarez promotional company, so that's the situation there. And also, you hear this, you hear a rumor on boxing scene that um, I got Sapato today. <laughs> good dog, Eddie. Good looking dog, Eddie. He's a mini Labradoodle. My mom, she got him Tuesday. He already chilling with me. Um, but he, but yeah, man, Oscar De La Hoya talking about fighting Marcos Madonna in the comeback fight. Madonna then ran through all his money. He done ran through a check, and, and he needs some money. So uh, that don't surprise me. Two guys that need money. Madonna had the fake-looking abs. He was supposed to come back. Um, and at the end of the day, PBC was a rumor that they didn't pay him all this money to help him through his training camp, so he quit. And now you hear rumors that him and Oscar De La Hoya could fight. Um, not sure if that's going to be on his own. But right now, Golden Boy probably on the fritz, and they on their knuckles. And don't be surprised if they don't try to sell or they file bankruptcy. And also, I forgot about this. 
give me a minute. I forgot about this. I had a phone conversation last night. I was I was half asleep. I was ready to go to go to sleep. I got some more Canelo news, but he might fight Marcos Madonna. I, I'm down to see it. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I'm really down to see it, man. And that might be a really good fight. Um, uh, Madonna can land. Oscar, uh, Madonna been out the ring. Oscar been out the ring. Madonna could punch. That ain't gonna change. Uh, Oscar got the, one of the better jabs, uh, lower weight class history. I mean, talking about all time, talking about Aaron Pryor, Larry, I mean, Larry Holmes, Sonny Liston, Oscar De La Hoya, really good jabs. And, you know, they got to find money some way. Don't be surprised if Bernard Hopkins don't come and try to fight somebody or do something of that nature. But the other way probably going down. No, don't be surprised if they don't do Shane Mosley, Oscar De La Hoya 3. Don't be surprised if you don't see Oscar De La Hoya, Tito Trinidad in the near future if he do okay versus Madonna. So we're in a situation where, you know, the zone is desperate. And Oscar got to come out of retirement to really help them make some ends meet. So I watch it though. You know what I'm saying? They got a rumor going around that they trying to start a rapper's uh, boxing league for rappers who don't who got beef and they want to, you know, stop people from dying RP to King Von. And that's good, you know, get in the ring and swap it out. We got to really get this violence thing down, man, because there's too many rappers dying. You don't hear that about country music singers, rock stars, only in the black culture, hip hop. But, you know, it'd be interesting. Uh, Oscar and Madonna, that's a good fight. And they primes. Um, De, De La Hoya probably get him. You know what I'm saying? For real. But it'd be a good fight now. See if De La Hoya, he's been training in shape. He got And he got to come back to really save the company. I know he probably thinking that he probably should have sold Golden Boy for $100 million to Al Heyman now and just rolled off in the sunset. And I think that's just the situation. But also, I got some more Canelo news. Uh, Canelo in the zone and Golden Boy basically settled out. Canelo was suing for his the rest of his $280 million. He was out on his contract in exchange. The zone let Canelo walk. Golden Boy let Canelo walk. Now, the rumor on the street was that Golden Boy had the contract and they never showed it. Canelo, he signed. And basically, Canelo never had a deal with the zone. His the zone deal was through Golden Boy. They middleman the deal. And I uh, saw on. They middleman the deal. And Canelo, for some reason, Never knew the stipulations of the deal. Remember that he promised, Oscar De La Hoya promised that Canelo would fight uh, Golovkin in the trilogy. Canelo said he wouldn't do it. He met with the zone. They've been having issues. They rectified that. And then all of a sudden, basically, Canelo was dropping a lawsuit. He he would he would agree to drop the $280 million lawsuit as long as the zone let him walk. And Golden Boy let him walk. And Golden Boy just didn't have the money to fight the zone. They couldn't risk losing that money and basically filing bankruptcy. So, they let Canelo walk, so Canelo dropped his $280, $300 million lawsuit, whatever it was. He left the money, but he still got the, he had to keep the money that he fought for Rocky Fielding. That didn't really count against the uh, contract. Danny Jacobs, Kovalev, and whoever else he fought in the zone, he kept that money, but they basically forgave, he forgave the debt. He gave, he, he dropped it, whatever it was, $300, $280 million lawsuit. In exchange, Golden Boy in the zone released him. And uh, that's just what the situation is. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request. All my social media links are in the description. Twitter's the fast way, Facebook, and Instagram. Also, we got a Facebook group. Check that out. If you want to make a donation to the channel, best way to donate is share the video. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Don't forget, check out my sportscaster page. Uh, I'll, link the, I'll leave that link in the description. Um, and other than that, man, man. The best way to donate, share the video, cash app CJ Good313, PayPal link in the description. Check out the backup channel, Goodfellas Sports TV 2.0. For those who don't know, we can't go live on this channel right now, so we over there at Goodfellas Sports TV 2.0. Appreciate the love, support, one time for the one time. Y'all know what it is, we know. All right, some may not know, but we got blocked from going live because we had some of the fight playing in the background this past Saturday on the tank and uh, Leo Santa Cruz Carter, it was, or is it either the or New York fight on ESPN Plus, but, um, it was a mistake, but now we can't go live until something change, uh, unless something change until January 29th, basically February. So I want you guys to follow me on Sportscasters, S P O R T S C A S T R, and I'll put the link in. The, well, I'll put the link in the description. That'll be the first link, or you can follow me on Goodfellas Sports TV 2.0, um, and I'll be doing my live streams both there at the same time. So any live football, basketball, you know, anything in between that, make sure you ch check out Sportscaster. For your boy, check it out. Um, I'll put that little uh, thumbnail or the little thing on the screen, but the link will be in the description. They monetize from day one. It's a YouTube alternative, so I will be there permanently. So I might be going live there and YouTube if I get my channel back or my live stream back at the same time. Appreciate everybody, but 
Goodfellas Sports TV 2.0, link in the description, and Sportcaster, link in the description. If you want to press the link, it is on sportscaster.com. It's just Goodfellas Sports. One word. Appreciate it. We gone.